Hello, my name is Peggy Adams, president of the League of Women Voters Flint area. With Partners Communities First and Flint Beat, we share a purpose to engage, empower, and educate local voters. We're happy to bring you a virtual community forum today to help you decide which candidate for Genesee County Commissioner in your district will get your vote. The Board of Commissioners makes important decisions about how your tax dollars are spent, so knowing about your candidate is important. All candidates for these offices were contacted. Some candidates chose not to participate for a variety of reasons. We hope you'll listen carefully to those who have and check vote411.org to see if there is a written response from the others. All were informed that they would need to comply with certain rules, such as refraining from comments on other persons and only taking this opportunity to tell voters about their own qualifications, priorities, and outlook. The All candidates were asked the same questions and all had the same time to answer. Thank you, and we look forward to an informative discussion. Well, hello, Mr. Clements. Uh, we have six questions today. The first one is, what background and experiences have prepared you for this office? Absolutely. Well, uh, I started off my involvement in politics and government at an early age, just as a young person that wanted to get involved in the community. Uh, spent roughly 10 years working in our state legislature, uh, focusing on policy issues uh, from agriculture and regulatory reform to education and health care. And I've had the opportunity for the last two years to serve as a county commissioner and running for re-election. Uh, and even more so being able to be this year the chair of the board uh, to push forward our county to move us into a new direction. Uh, so I believe that experience and the time that I've served in the last two years on the Board of Commissioners really speaks for itself and the good work that we've done. And I'm hopeful for the opportunity to continue to do that moving forward. Okay, thanks. Uh, what are your priorities for the 2023-2024 term? Absolutely. So one of my biggest priorities for the upcoming term for our Board of Commissioners is starting to chip away at uh, budget conversations for long-term planning. I think a lot of times, and even within these last two years on the Board of Commissioners, my colleagues often celebrate that we passed a balanced budget this year, uh, but we aren't necessarily looking at the long term. We know that over the course of the next 10 to 15 years, our legacy costs are going to continue to skyrocket, and we are going to be faced with some tough choices. Uh, so I'm working with my colleagues right now already to start those conversations on uh, where we can make strategic cuts and where there might be opportunity to increase revenue so that we can start those uh, changes now so it'll be a little bit less of a harder hit five, 10 years from now. I think in any level of government, we need to start looking more towards the future in long-term planning rather than just what's happening right here, right in front of us. Uh, the second thing that I'm really focused on is moving physically our county into the new direction as we are transitioning into a new administration building, consolidating several of our buildings into one, creating a one-stop shop for residents to access county service, all while saving the county dollars with having less buildings, less heating and cooling costs, again, going towards that first goal of more uh, financial stability in the future. All right, thank you. Uh, how will you answer, uh, respond to constituent concerns? Absolutely. So I think that constituents and working with constituents is one of the core parts of any elected office, county commission, city council, Congress, you name it. And one of the things that I'm known for is being active in our community, involved at community events, always willing to have a conversation with any member of our community, uh, but also going door to door and talking to voters, not just in the election cycle, in the off year, doing constituent relations, always having that phone uh, able to answer that. One example is just in the last couple of weeks, I had a constituent call me about uh, some blight that was happening in his neighborhood, both with a uh, resident that was his neighbor, as well as some of the township uh, regulations that were happening. And rather than just taking that call, I actually physically went out to his house to see what he was talking about, trying to find a, a resolution to that issue. And then was working with the township which I think is very important, and that's a huge part of constituent relations as a county commissioner is working with the local municipalities, making sure that they have the information that we're doing at the county, making sure that we at the county know what they're doing on and finding ways that we can work together to make the best community for our residents. Okay. Uh, according to the U.S. Census, the Genesee County's population declined 4.6% from 2010 to 2020. What policies would you pursue to help grow our county in the future? 
Yes, absolutely. So it's no surprise that we've lost population in the last census. I think that was something that everyone is expecting. The biggest side of that decline came from the city of Flint. Uh, and while I think there are some things that we can be done, not necessarily a policy side of things, uh, but as a community and where our board of commissioners can be involved is looking at the economic vitality of our community, being able to set a new path forward, talking about new business developments, uh, potentially things like the redevelopment of Buick City in the city of Flint, uh, some of the great work that's happening in the south side of the county in Grand Blanc Township with Tech Village and even in uh, Fenton Township with Miller Industries. All of these, as well as some other projects that we're working on, are going to help bring new jobs into our community. Bringing new jobs into this community is going to help bring new residents. And as we do that, one of the things that I will add is means that we're going to have to start working on housing next and finding ways that we can uh, find affordable and quality housing in this community to continue to attract new people, new residents, and get that larger net in migration, more people moving into this community than moving out. Thank you. Um, what do you see as the role of county government in partnering with cities, villages, and townships across the county. Now, I know you've touched on that somewhat, but perhaps you have more you'd like to say on that. Absolutely, and I think that's a huge part of county government is having those relations. We've had the opportunity to work very closely with our local units of government this last term uh, because of the American Rescue Plan, where we as the county got several million dollars to, to spend. And rather than just spending it on our own projects or giving it out to community organizations, we made a very concerted effort to work with our municipalities. We know that each of our local municipalities also received this American Rescue Plan dollars, but a much smaller amount. Whereas a community like the city of Linden might receive 400, 500,000, uh, Flint Township or Mundy Township, a million or so, we at the county got $78 million. So we were able to use that money that we had as a match program. So our municipalities could look at bigger projects but also not just projects on their own, how we can have multiple municipalities working together. And I think one of the biggest and best examples of that that we have is what's happening in the south side of the county, where the county, through our ARPA dollars, the city of Fenton, sorry, excuse me, Fenton Township, Grand Blanc Township, Mundy Township, and potentially the city of Linden are all working together on a water infrastructure project to bring uh, water lines through those communities to help, again, grow and uh, develop our communities allow for more housing growth, allow for more business. We're working on a similar project on the east side of the county from Grand Blanc Township all the way up through Davison Township to expand our sewer access. These are things that we need strong partnership with all levels of government, uh, not to mention those constituent issues that I already talked about and having relationships is so vitally important at this level as county board of commissioners. I know it's going to continue to be important as we try to move our county forward. We can't operate in a silo. We're not 27 different municipalities. We are one county, we are one community. And the more that we work together, the bigger and the brighter our future is gonna be. Thank you. And now we're down to the last question. Why do you want to be a county commissioner? Absolutely, that is a really good question. Um, so when I was first thinking about running for county commission, I'll admit it wasn't uh, something that was on the top of my radar. It wasn't something that I think anyone grows up and says, I want to be a county commissioner when I, when I grow up. Uh, but getting involved locally here in politics, I really saw a need for young, fresh perspectives on our board of commissioners. Uh, and I feel that's what I've been in these last two years. And I'm uh, hopeful for the opportunity to continue to offer those fresh perspectives, to have a commissioner like myself that is deeply rooted in our community, hopefully encouraging other commissioners to be just as rooted in their communities, uh, that they will be doing constituent relations, constituent services, being out at events, and really pushing to drive a new narrative in our county that we are, as I mentioned before, one county, that we are one community, that we can work together, uh, that when the city of Flint thrives, all of Genesee County thrives, and we can't be attacking and pushing against each other anymore. Um, and I believe that's true in the very nature of how we interact in politics. Uh, we've gotten to a point where we're so partisanly divided and we close doors on people, we don't have conversations. And I think part of this new era of politics is that folks need to have a conversation with each other. It's about more than being a Democrat or a Republican. We are all residents of Genesee County. We have to come together, we have to work together. And that's why I'm running to be your county commissioner. 
Well, thank you very much for joining us today. And, and um, as uh, we have with, with uh, other folks who've responded to our invitation to participate in the forum, we want to thank you for being part of that democratic process and uh, win, lose or draw. Uh, voters have a chance to take a look at who's running and what they stand for, uh, what their priorities are. And, and that's, that's a great thing. So thank you very much. Absolutely. And thank you for having me.